launched in 1977, it traveled over 12 billion miles, and then it vanished. For eight months, Voyager 2 was silent, but when it finally spoke again, its final transmission left even NASA speechless. And now what it revealed confirms what we all feared. In 1977, two probes left Earth, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, on a mission to explore the outer planets. Voyager 2 was the only spacecraft to visit all four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And when that journey ended, it didn't return home. It kept going, straight into the Great Void. For over 45 years, Voyager 2 sent back signals from deep space. It was our farthest ambassador, carrying the golden record, a message from Earth to whatever might be out there. But in 2024, something unexpected happened. During a routine command update from NASA's Deep Space Network, a human error caused Voyager 2's antenna to tilt just two degrees off target. That was enough to cut communication with Earth. Suddenly, Voyager 2 went dark, after nearly five decades of transmitting data without fail. NASA tried everything. They sent correction commands again and again, but for months, the spacecraft didn't respond. It was lost. While Voyager 1 continued transmitting faint signals from 15 billion miles away, Voyager 2's data stream had gone completely silent. The world space community watched in quiet horror. Had the spacecraft finally died? Or had it entered a region of space where something else had silenced it? Then, on March 9, 2025, after 231 days of total silence, Voyager 2's signal reappeared. Just a whisper at first, then stronger, more structured. But this was no ordinary reboot. Its signal was different, encrypted, distorted, and worse, it contained data never seen before. A series of low-frequency plasma wave bursts that seemed unnatural, almost coded. Scientists rushed to decode what Voyager 2 was trying to say, and what they found sent chills through the deepest corridors of NASA. The signal was faint, like a voice trying to scream underwater. But it was clear, Voyager 2 was still alive and trying to tell us something. Its onboard instruments, specifically the plasma wave subsystem, had recorded a shock wave. But this was no ordinary interstellar event. The frequency, velocity, and duration didn't match anything scientists had previously catalogued. The shock wave had a clear origin point, a specific set of galactic coordinates about 143 light years from Earth. At first, analysts believed it was a naturally occurring plasma surge, but when the signal was reconstructed using enhanced AI protocols, it revealed an unexpected pattern, a binary sequence embedded in the noise. And then, something happened that no one could explain. Voyager 2 shut down every scientific instrument on board. One by one, it powered down its systems, magnetometer, cosmic ray sensor, plasma detector, until all that was left was its communication system. As if it was diverting all its energy to transmit this one last message. And finally, it sent an image. It was a strange, almost abstract diagram, one that NASA's experts at the Jet Propulsion Lab at first believed to be static interference. But upon deeper inspection, the image revealed a structure, a triangular shape with concentric rings surrounded by three points of light. Stranger still, the orientation of the image matched the pulsar map engraved on Voyager's own golden record. Dr. Yuki Tanaka, one of NASA's top astrophysicists, described the moment the image was decoded. He said, We realized it wasn't showing us something random. It was showing us a place. Or worse, a warning. The triangle matched a dark region of interstellar space known for unexplained gravitational anomalies, a place astronomers once dismissed as empty. But now, Voyager 2 was pointing right at it and broadcasting plasma patterns resembling heartbeat-like pulses, 
eerily similar to those received by Voyager 1 a year earlier. And then came the final transmission. A single line of binary, translated by NASA's AI decoder as, Do not follow. That was the last message Earth ever received from Voyager 2. Within hours of the message being received, Voyager 2 went completely silent. No carrier wave, no background signal, nothing. It had vanished. What happened to Voyager 2? And more importantly, why did it warn us? At first, NASA tried to keep the message quiet, but the transmission leaked. Forums, dark web whistleblowers, and amateur radio astronomers caught the final signal and began dissecting it. And the theories? They ranged from the incredible to the terrifying. Theory 1. Alien Contact Zone Some believe Voyager 2 drifted into a territory claimed by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. The structured plasma wave signals and the triangular coordinates could be markers, a region guarded by entities we don't understand. Voyager 2's warning might be their way of telling us this part of the galaxy is not for you. Theory 2 the event horizon of a cloaked object. Maybe it encountered an artificial gravity field, maybe even the boundary of a massive cloaked object or structure. Voyager 2's instruments might have detected the warping of space-time before they failed. Could it be a Dyson sphere? A megastructure built by a civilization eons ahead of us? Theory 3. Something inside us responded. And then, there's a darker theory. What if the signal Voyager 2 received didn't just come from outside? What if it triggered something hidden within the Golden Record's own transmission? A code embedded in our own attempt to communicate? Remember, we sent detailed maps, biological information, and even mathematical sequences. Everything a civilization might need to find us. Did we send too much? Was Voyager 2's message not a discovery, but a regret? Do not follow, not because there's danger ahead, but because they already know we're here. As of today, Voyager 2 remains silent. No more signals, no more data. It's drifting into darkness, forever lost, or taken. NASA has not officially commented on the meaning of the final transmission, but leaked internal discussions revealed they've halted all deep space transmissions beyond a certain coordinate range. They're no longer trying to contact Voyager 2. They're listening, waiting, and perhaps afraid. What do you think Voyager 2 discovered? Was it a natural phenomenon or something intelligent waiting in the dark? Drop your theories in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for more stories from the edge of space.